Harry Potter haul for you guys. Now, there is a lot of stuff in this haul. If you guys saw my previous video, I did explain to you guys what's been going on. Plus, I did explain on my social media as well. And a lot of you have been DMing me also to find out what's been going on. So I did explain all of that. So I have had a lot of this stuff for a while now, but I never got around to filming this for you guys because of everything that's been going on. I feel like there's something on my lip. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this haul. A lot of Funkos, a lot of Harry Potter merch. So, let me cut all this chit chat and let's get right into this video. Alright my loves, the first two pops that I got was Ginny Weasley and Tom Riddle. Now this was not the particular order that I got them in. But if you guys did watch my previous video, I did explain what's been going on. So that way you guys will understand. But look how cute they are. And yes, I do not keep them in the box. So I am sorry for all the box collectors out there. However, I do not have any space right now. So they will have to stay in the box until I have some more space. Because my shelves are full. And these are currently just stacked up on my floor. So that's what's going on right now. Alright my loves, the next two pops are Herbology, Ron, and Harry. Look how cute they are. I cannot get over this. I got him at Target. My mom got him for me at Target. And this one I got a Hot Topic. Hot Topic for some reason only had Ron. I don't know. That was a little weird. But I mean I got them all over the place. This wave really made us run for our money. And it had us on a wild goose chase. But I got all the pops so I'm pretty happy about that. Alright guys, next is Gilderoy Lockhart. Thanks to a lovely fan in Cali, I got the exclusive, so thank you, you know who you are. So that's how I got him. And then this one, I believe I got him at Target as well. And I just, I think that they are adorable and I don't mind getting doubles. I am a Funko fanatic when it comes to Harry Potter. Those are the only Funkos that I actually collect. I mean, I do have some like, I have a Justin Bieber one, I have an Edward Cullen one, some elf ones, but you know, I love Harry Potter, that's my favorite, that's my go-to, so I'm mostly a Harry Potter pop collector. Alright my loves, the next two pops are Hermione Granger and Tom Riddle, the sepia one. He was $8.99 at Target and I was lucky that he was released earlier and he was kind of easy to find to be honest. And then her I got at, let's see, where did I get this one from? I don't know if it was Hot Topic or Target, I'm not sure, I think it was Target though. So that was pretty lucky, they were $8.99 each and I think they're so cute. Next, I got the Ron and Hermione 2-pack. These are really cute. I know a lot of people don't really like them. I mean, some people do, but like I said, I collect them all. And I think that they are darn adorable. So, I mean, I had to get them. And my mom also got me the other 2 pack. She surprised me when they came out. And she went there so early and she surprised me. Came home with the bag and I was like, are you kidding me? I was so excited. So, well, basically both of my parents got this for me. So, thank you, mommy and daddy. And look, just look, just so cute. Now, Nearly Headless Nick, he was kind of hard to find. This is the regular pop, but for some reason, a lot of people did not have him. I forgot. I think I ordered him on HotTopic.com. Yes, that's where I got him from. So, he's pretty darn cool. And these three minis are the only ones that I have. I have bought so many, and my siblings bought them, and I keep getting doubles. So, I'm trying to sell them. They're kind of hard to get rid of. So, these are the three that I have so far. I had, like, four of him. I got rid of some. I had two of him. I got rid of the other one. And then Cedric, well, he I didn't get any doubles of, obviously. So these are the only three that I have so far. I might just keep buying them on eBay and Mercari and other apps like that because, you know, it's a gamble and you keep getting doubles, so it's just a waste of money. Oh my gosh, now these two, let me tell you, I stayed up till midnight to get them and I missed out. And it turns out it wasn't even released at the right time for us. Um, I was looking online and I don't know how I let that slip. Everyone was like, you're usually good at that. And I'm like, yeah, I am. But I guess my mind is elsewhere. But you know, I got them. So it doesn't matter. I woke up so early on the day these released. I woke up at 630 because I was too excited. And I can't drive still because of my foot. So my little sister took me out and we waited in line. I got them. They're so cute. And you know, just look at that. Now this guy had me on a wild goose chase, let me tell you. I went through so much just to get him. My target had guaranteed me him and the Dobby. And I had went there and lined up an hour or two early. 
and I stood there in the hot sun with my bad foot with my brother and they didn't have him so they got in trouble so they had to give me a gift card and everything because of customer service because they guaranteed me that they will be there and it wasn't so I had to pass some targets on the way home from New Jersey after my grandfather's funeral and there was a lot of targets on the way home and I looked up well I looked these up on the app and I saw that there were some targets around me that had him so I got the basilisk he is really cute detailed and man he's heavy all right now this is a big guy here the dobby the one target that we passed on the highway i looked it up and they only had two so i called and made sure and my mom dropped me in and i ran right to the back and they only had two dobbies left and i'm just so happy that i got him he is so cute i could not pass this up look how big this is and it is really heavy guys so let me know if you guys managed to get any exclusives or if you even collect these at all all right, next for the rock candies because of course I collect these two. I got Voldemort and Harry. I have all of them now. I have the whole new wave, so I'm pretty stoked about that. These are really detailed nicely. I was really surprised. And the Harry's cute too. I mean, I don't know what that is on the box, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me because I'm going to eventually take them out the box, like I said, once I have some more space. And next we have Dumbledore and Quidditch Ron. I just love these. I think that they are so cute and... I really do love the detail guys. I know that must get annoying, but I mean, I don't know how else to describe them because like I said, they're just too cute. Last but not least, we have the exclusive. So thanks to a fan once again, the same one, they sent this to my PO box. So you know who you are. Thank you so much. So I didn't have to really struggle for Neville. And then Sirius, let me tell you, I was on the highway on my way to visit my grandfather in the hospital before he passed. And I was trying to order Sirius and he went out of stock so many times and I went back on the site and he was in stock So I grabbed him and I even found a 10% off coupon So I forgot how much I ended up paying for him, but it wasn't that much Next, if you guys follow me on social media, you will probably see this necklace on my neck I got this at Hot Topic and it's a little Gryffindor line with a red gem and it says courage on it And it was at Hot Topic, but I used my hot cash So I don't remember how much this came up, but I just love this necklace. Next, I use my hot cash also. Oh, this really cute tote bag. They told me they just got it in and there was only one left. So, I mean, I had to take it. And I switched it into my purse, guys. And I just love this so much. It's such a cute bag. It's very lightweight and the design is so cute. And yes, I have been getting a lot of steers in public, but gotta represent the Potterheads. Next, I got this really cute Deathly Hallows tea. And I got a large. Usually I get extra large because I do like the way the tees fit and I like them kind of big and comfy with my jeans. However, I decided to go with a large this time because the extra large looked way too big. And I just like this tee. And I use my hot cash on this as well. So like I said, I don't remember. Let me see. Hold on. What does it retail for? $22.90. So it's still not bad because they do always have deals going on. So just try to stop by in Hot Topic and just see where your luck is another thing courtesy of my hot cash is these really cute gryffindor pj pants yes i have been wearing these like crazy because i just love my harry potter sweatpants harry potter clothes are really comfortable guys i think these are guys pants too but you know what i don't care and they're really big too but they have the drawstring so you know i just tie it really tight and it is an extra large like i said this is way too big for me maybe a larger or medium would have been fine but it was the last one and i do wear them in the house anyway so you know, I got them anyway. The last thing that I got was this Gryffindor tee. Now, this is really cute. They do have all the houses, but of course, I'm a Gryffindor. So, you know, I did post a pic in this shirt too because it's just so comfy. It just came out of the wash actually because, you know, I mean, I wore it a lot and yeah, that's what happened. So, it's really cute and I use my hot cash like I said. A lot of my stuff came up to like 90 bucks. The clothing I'm talking about, not the Funkos because those are all purchased separately. But a lot of the clothing came up together like 90 bucks and I only ended up paying 45 something because of my hot cash. So you guys should totally sign up for the rewards card too. It's free and this video is not sponsored. I just have a problem with Hot Topic if you guys can tell by my videos. So you guys should totally check that out. It's worth it. Alright my babies, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave some comments down below. Also, let me know if you guys collect these as well and which ones do you have. Did you guys get any luck in finding the exclusives like I did? Let me know down below. And until next time, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah. I found you, girl, I like being a mom.